Hello and welcome to the Time Splitters Rewind second developer update. Since our last video, we've been working on increasing the roster of weapons available at launch so they better reflect the parts of the game you'll be able to play. For example, the Siberia weapon set has been our priority, but you'll see other weapons that may indicate other areas we're working on. Speaking of Siberia, work has continued on the map, and we hope to show much more of it soon. Until then, here are some shots of the assets being created. We've also taken on a couple more weapon artists. They've been set to work on some other weapon types, so we can allow for a good mix of traditional and sci-fi weapons. This will allow us to better capture the variety of Time Splitters weapon set on initial release. Weapon animations are also underway, and these will replicate the part of the game you'll be playing. For example, if you're playing a bit of Time Splitters 2 story, the weapon animations will not feature animated hands by default. However, if you're playing something specifically from Future Perfect, animated hands will be default. This should help replicate the first-person weapon style from the respective games. Menu and UI work has also continued. Again, these indicate what we hope to be in the initial release. Bear in mind the preview images used are work in progress, so they will change, but they do give a rough indication as to how the menus will be laid out. Work did begin on the opening cutscene environment, but due to the part-time nature of the project, sometimes our developers need to step away occasionally to fulfil other obligations. As a result, this has been put on hold. The audio team has been working hard to redesign the weapons and reimagine the atmospheric sounds for each level, aiming for a fresh aesthetic whilst paying homage to the original games. Here's a bit of their work. Thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you in the next update.